Hello and welcome to week six. This week we're going to be focusing on your thesis statement and how to use a reverse outline. You'll have two assignments due, the 6-3 submission, which will help you identify your thesis, and then the activity, which is the reverse outline. In your first reading, you'll learn more about thesis statements and how to make your thesis statement more exact and more concise. There's actually a model at the bottom here that is one way you can write the thesis statement for this paper. The next thing you'll be doing is you're going to be looking through of several thesis statements and determining which ones are strong and which ones are weak. This is going to help you again in the revision process of your paper. And then you'll be identifying your thesis statement. Now this is something you will be submitting in the 5-4 assignment. You actually can use this exact wording here. The article's main claim of blank is blank because blank blank and blank. So you would actually type that out here. So let's look at those assignment guidelines real quick. So I want to make sure that you have a main claim. The theme of the article is, and you want to support that, and you should have three things, three ideas that you can use to support your main claim. And then the articulation of response, which we see every time, but you want to make sure that your thesis statement is properly punctuated. There won't be any citations in a thesis statement because the thesis statement is completely original. The next assignment is the reverse outline. So this assignment gives you ideas about how to go about doing the reverse outline. And this is a really important revision tool because it helps you ensure that you wrote what you meant to write. And it's one of the most effective ways I've seen this done. And then you will submit the activity the reverse outline. So in this assignment, you're going to generate an updated draft. And this is something that you'll continue to go back to in the next few weeks. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.